everyone, it's Sharon here. I'm back today with another card for Spellbinders. Today I'm going to make a card using the Flower Swag 5 stamp, which is designed by Tammy Tutero. It's a lovely stamp. And as you can see, I've already made one card, which I did on watercolour card. But I thought it would be nice to do the same card on a dark cardstock and then use some pearly watercolours to colour it. Now before I stamp this I'm just going to quickly use an embossing um, buddy to rub over the card just so that I don't get any um, stray embossing powder where I might have fingerprints. And now I can start my stamping. The good thing about these stamps is although they're rubber the image is printed on on the cling on the back so you can actually see exactly what you're stamping where which is one thing with rubber stamps if they've just got plain cling you, you and if, particularly if it's a sentiment or something it's quite hard to see where you're stamping and be accurate so these are fabulous I think. I'm going to use clear embossing powder for the flowers and by using a clear powder for this part, it means it will make my watercolouring much easier. The watercolour will stay within the areas and it, it just helps. It make, makes your life much easier. So that's the clear added. And I'm not going to heat that just yet because I'm going to stamp my sentiment next. And then I'm going to add white embossing powder to the sentiment. So I'm going to do that before I heat it, just so that I don't have the heat gun on the card for too long. Um, the longer that you're heating the card, the more it warps. So to do all the heat, heat embossing in one, if you can do it, is, is far easier. And because this sentiment is going to be a bit below, I, I can get white embossing powder on this without any danger of the white going on, on the bits I've already embossed, if that makes sense. <laughs> the sentiment I'm using is a freebie, actually. It was came with Making Cards magazine last month. They had a set called Everyday Sentiments. And I really like the font on these. And I used Get Well Soon on the other card. So I thought I'll use Happy Birthday for this one. And as you can see, I'm carefully putting the white powder on so that it just goes on that sentiment. And now I've got all my powder on, I can heat it. Now I'm holding my gun away just for a few minutes till it's really hot again. I don't want to have this on the paper for any longer than I need to because it does warp a bit. So I'm starting with the clear and as you can see. And then I'll just do the white. So now I'm ready to do my watercolouring and I'm going to use two different sets for the watercolouring. I've got this set which is a Prima set which is called uh, Metallic Accents and then I've got another set from Creative Expressions, which is the Cosmic Shimmer Iridescent watercolour paints. And the set I've got is set eight, which is Perfect Pastels. But to start with, I'm going to use the Prima set and I'm using the green from the set just to do the leaves. And you can see as I do this, I've got a fair amount of water on my brush, but the, the paint is staying within the little sections. So it, it does make life really easy if you um, heat emboss your image first when you're watercolouring. And I think these colours just look great against the dark cardstock. So I'm switching to use the uh, Creative Expressions Cosmic Shimmer paints now. I prefer, I'm mixing and matching these a bit because the Prima ones are beautiful, but I find the purple in that set is really iridescent and it's, it's quite an interferent sort of colour. And when you tilt it in the light, it's got sort of blues and all sorts of colours. And I think it's a little bit, for the look I'm going for, it's a bit too dis distracting compared to the other colours. So that's why I'm mixing and matching, really. I'm, I like the dark pink from the Prima set, so I'm going to use that for the, for the large flowers. And I've used the pale pink for the little hearts, and I've used the, the um, sort of lilac lavender colour from the creative expression set for the little berries so I'm just doing the three large flowers with this dark pink 
this is a lovely color i'm not really mixing colors for this card um, because i've got such a great selection having two sets of paints here I've, I've pretty much got every color i need i don't need to mix any myself also i'm not that great at mixing colors i have to say <laughs> it's something that i would say i'm still learning at really so i've switched the yellow from the um, creative expression set and i'm going to do there's two flowers that are kind of kind of part in the background actually so i thought a bright color would be quite nice for those since you can't see the whole flower it, just a pop of color so that's all my watercoloring done so i can set that aside to dry and now i want to add some ink splatters so i've cut myself a mask because i'd quite like the flowers not to have um, ink on them just in case it takes away from the colour too much so I thought I'll just protect them with a mask and then I can add some nice splatters so I'm using the Prima set and I'm going to use the white and a gold and I'm using the same small brush that I used to do the painting so that I'm going to end up with quite small fine splatters there won't be any great big splatters of paint So I'm just going all over the background and I'm happy with that. So I can peel off my mask and then again, I can let that dry for a minute. Now that's dry, I can attach it to my card front. And because it's warped a little bit, I'm using this red line tape, which is really strong. Whenever I'm watercoloring or, or doing anything with lots of where I'm adding lots of water to get an effect with distress inks or whatever. I always use this tape. It's a bit fiddly to apply. And when you take the backing off, that red backing plastic just sticks to you. <laughs> it's a real pain. It's really static, but, uh, but it is really good tape. So I'm just using my poker tool to get the backing off. And then I can attach that to my card front. So I could leave it there and call my card finished, but I thought it'd be nice just as a final finishing touch to add a few sequins. I, I think coloured sequins would be too much with the paint splatters and, and the um, shimmery paints. So I'm just using some clear iridescent sequins. These are the smallest size from Pretty Pink Posh. And I think they're great just as a as an extra just to give a bit of sparkle when it catches the light i think it's nice um i'm applying these with ranger um, medium in the matte finish just so that um, when it dries you won't see any of the of the medium if it does seep out from underneath and i'm using a pickup tool to just add a few i'm not going mad i'm just adding about six or seven to the top and that's my card finished and here's the um white card version so as you can see the difference, I think the um, metallic shimmery paints do look nice on dark cardstock. So I think it's quite nice to have a different look. I'll put all the details of all the products I've used in the description box in YouTube so that if you're interested in any of these stamps or, or any of the paints and everything, I'll put all the details there so you can find them easily. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll hopefully see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.